One of the striking things about this piece of equipment is that the last thing that you'd expect it to do is work. Oh, but it does, Tom. It really does. And to prove it, we've come to the birthplace of this board, Montreal, Canada, to capture the action for ourselves and meet the ambitious aviator, Alexandru. It's amazing, it's an amazing feeling. Sometimes you, you might be dreaming, oh, I would like to, to see how, to feel how it is to fly. And there you have it, it's, it's here, and you can actually experience it. It becomes somehow an extension of your feet. It's just like your feet are able to push through air. So how is this fantastic flying machine put together? Alexandra's hoverboard design is simple but beautiful. It's six and a half feet long, or two meters, and it has eight rotors arranged in a spider-like fashion. Alexandro stands at the center and flies up into the sky. Alexandro controls the power that goes to the rotors by using the throttle that he holds in his hand. So it's very responsive, very powerful, a little bit dangerous. So the controller is for power, but how does he steer? Steering and balance do not come from any controller. He has to use his feet and his body. Alexandru creates forward thrust by shifting his body weight forward, thus orienting all the rotors slightly backwards. Now they're giving him upward thrust, but they're also giving him a little bit of forward thrust. Alex has to have amazing skills to pilot this board. Because most of the weight is Alex himself, the whole system is extremely top heavy. Alexandru at all times must keep his center of mass directly above the hoverboard. That way he won't tilt forward or backward too much and come crashing down. I was confident from the start that this is, in terms of just a technological challenge, this one is not totally safe, but it's gonna be safe at some point, eventually. <laughs>